Good morning. Making an hour drive this morning to go buy some 375, no, 370 watt uh, solar panels. And I want to test them, make sure they work. I can test voltage, but I want to make sure I'm getting some voltage. Uh, it's not very sunny out, but I should still get something because their VOC is like 40 some odd volts each. So, but this guy's at 100%. And I'm hungry. So we're gonna fire up a little air fryer. Let's make some breakfast. AC on. Start the preheat here. Oh, we're cooking. Fourteen hundred and thirty fifty watts. Let you know how that goes and how much I burn cooking uh, five or so hash browns. That's what's for breakfast. All right. Oh, they're frozen together. I think that's what this tray's for. Set them on there after it's preheated. Yeah, I think that'll work. 20 minutes. It's running, but the, the watts aren't reading. It actually just stopped reading the watts. First time it hasn't done that, but started at about 98%. So there we go. Already down to 96. I usually run that until about 14 minutes or so for those hash browns. So we'll see how we go. All right, I said I was going to go down to 14, but I decided to go down to 10 for fun. And we are almost there. 85% still consuming 1400 watts. I found out that it was not registering wattage when just the fan was running. So apparently the fan is less than one watt. Um, there's probably something on there that for AC it doesn't show less than X amount of watts. I don't know what that is. I'm a novice user. But yeah, 84% for running for 10 minutes plus the preheat, so about 11, 12 minutes. Now you know. <laughs> All right, off to do a possible sketchy mission. I don't know, solar panels are decent. So we've got Luetti back there, all the parts pieces, got enough room for the solar panels to fit. So we'll see, they're supposed to be new in box, but you know how those deals go down, so. Possibly a sketchy part. It's a warehouse division. A lot of uh, vacant lots and lots with junk on them. So, but the building has a whole bunch of solar on it. So, I can't help but think it's a legit place. But never know. While the temperature is double what it was yesterday, it's still not a good temperature to test solar. Your destination is on the right. Which is up through here. Ah, this doesn't look sketch at all, does it? Nope, not sketch at all. Interesting decorated camper. Solar around here somewhere. Well, 
we'll see. Here we go. I didn't record while inside, but I was able to snap this picture. It was very interesting to say the least, but to be fair, I did never feel unsafe. All right, so I'm just leaving this right here. Um, it's a little sketchy. Um, through that door, backed into a building. There was vehicles uh, torn down in there. Um, hope my picture came out. I didn't want to record him, but it, uh, yeah, it was a little sketch, a little sketch. So um, had a remaining pallet. And yeah, I don't know. So here they are, uh, strapped in, ready to rock. They both read 50 volts um, in the sun. So we are good. Um, just the situation, the location, everything was uh, everything was good. So um, yeah, total normal dude, just sell um, for cash. So. Way we rock, baby. Can't wait to get those on the trailer. I don't think they're gonna fit. They're freaking huge. I knew that though. Um, these are more or less for the next trailer. Uh, I don't think they'll fit, um, like I said, on the five by eight. So the six by 11 should fit. All depends on where I put the Max Air fan. But I'm probably gonna put the Max Air fan in the back, but that's a whole nother story. Things could change and I may not even touch these. Um, we well, are just getting over the polar vortex, um, down to like negative 33 wind chill. So these would have been nice in case the power went out, but didn't have to worry about that. All right, made it back home. I am going to set these up hour and a half one way ish a little less but uh time to unbuckle these guys set them out and let's see what blue eddie says uh they're putting out voltage was slightly higher at 49 something so we'll see what it says but they tested out good so let's see how blue eddie likes them i'm excited all right, it's like two something in the afternoon, so the sun is not perfect, but I still want to see what I can get. That is definitely not OSHA certified. All right, you can see the sun is pretty low, pretty low in the sky, but Jumping around, 108. I don't know, not too bad. So, in season with full sun, but it'll do all right. But man. That's a big panel. I'm a little excited. It's unfortunate that it's winter, but when you find a deal, sometimes you just gotta go for it. So unfortunately I won't get to see uh, what those panels can actually do. I might try another day. Maybe I'll do a short about it. Um, what they can do in midday sun and uh, the Wisconsin winter. But I mean, for 14 degrees at 3.30, um, you know, basically the sun was about 20 minutes to 30 minutes from setting for the day. So getting 100 panels or 100 watts out of that panel, I think that's pretty awesome. So I'm, I'm really stoked for that uh, to go on the trailer. They're gonna sit in the garage, unfortunately, uh, for a couple months. I do have a solo trip planned, but I'm probably still gonna use my new power 210 watt because of its size. And uh, honestly, for its efficiency and its my needs, 
that 210 watt does just fine. But when the whole family is camping, um, these twin 370s, if they fit on the trailer, I might get custom with uh, some side hinge mounts. Um, but we'll see. So that'll be another video. But for now, um, happy holidays. And um, I can't wait to really try these out. But we'll see you in the next video. Um, I'm trying to get motivation to edit. Um, I have a lot of videos on the editing floor that I need to start. They're actually not on the floor yet. They're all stored in the hard drive. So like at least 10 videos that I've just been working and working and working. No time to edit. No motivation to edit. So it's coming. They're coming. I promise. I don't promise actually. Oh, that would be a straight line. <laughs> So the editing for me is the, uh, is the downfall to everything. So I think I'll get there. I think I'll get our Grand Canyon video up. Um, unfortunately, before I get any of my other videos up on my solo trips, I technically have three pretty epic solo trips um, in my XB. But those are probably going to be last because I don't know if anyone wants to see me and my XP, but people do like the Sienna um, and watching how we van camp. Um, a little bit of a temporary van life. So I'm going to try to get those done. But other than that, uh, we'll see you on the next one.